kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Power Play! Narito na ako, Nolly Iyala, kilalani ng mga nasa likod ng bawat laro sa buhay man o sa playing court. Game na tayo! Power and Play sa Radyo 5 92.3 News FM Sa tapo ako Pilipino Ipagmalaki ang galing na meron tayo Ilang tagdang likas nating talento At magdala ng saya sa mundo Sa harap ng pagsubok kay di susuko Para sa pangarap tayo'y pusigido Magpakitang gilas na at huwag magpatalo Ipagdiwang natin ang Pilipino Yan ang Pinoy Mula noon at hanggang ngayon, talento natin ang bida Mula sa simpleng bakuran hanggang entablado natin ipakita May pagsubok man ng Pinoy, pinalalakas ng saya San man tayo sa pulo, sumbe, sumbay, lakay, maliga Sama-sama pakita, ang galing natin katropa Sa kapwa ko Pilipino Maaraw man po sa labas, umuulan ng biyaya sa Philippine Sports ngayong araw pong ito. At yan po ang aming iahatid sa inyo, sa inyong paboritong kasama tuwing Sabado. E di pano, bango na! Power and Play na! Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat mga kapatid. Ako po si Noli Iyala. At ito po ang power and play. Hatid sa inyo ng uh, Cherry Loom, ang Yero May Aluminum, Cherry Tigo, It's Fun to Drive, Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan, at ng True Religion, where passion meets power. Nako, ang dami po nating balita ngayong araw pong ito. Of course, binabati natin lahat ng mga nakikinig over Radio 5, 92.3 News FM, our uh, viewers on 1PH, on Signal TV, and of course, sa lahat po ng nakatutok worldwide sa pamamagitan ng Facebook, ng Power and Play, 1PH at ng Radyo 5. Ang bu- uh, gumising po sa atin ngayong umagang ito na balitang napakaganda ay ang pagkapanalo ng ating teen tennis sensation si Alex Ayala na nanalo po sa kanyang semifinals against Victoria Mboko ng Canada to barge into the finals ng US Open Junior Women's Championship at para po sa balitang yan kasama po natin ngayon via phone patch live from New York walang iba kung hindi si Alex Ayala Good morning, good evening Alex Welcome back to the show Hi, Dito Noli Thank you for having me again So, so happy to uh, see the game and read the news Congratulations How are you feeling, Alex? I'm sobrang masaya, sobrang masaya, especially with all the Filipinos that came to watch today. Um, it creates a great atmosphere and super excited for tomorrow. You know, you are on a roll. Uh, you've been playing so well, terrific tennis uh, in the quarterfinals and of course now in the semifinals, straight sets, victory. Um, what are you most happy happiest about in your game so far in the US Open I think I'm most happy about my mental composure uh, during all my matches and how I was able to adapt to the different situations and different problems that um, occurred during the match uh, alam mo, Alex, uh, uh, alam natin you were supposed to play sa doubles but you had to pull out because of an injury uh, to your partner Um, do you feel that this is a blessing in disguise? Na nag pull out kasi doubles and now you're concentrating on your singles event? 
Actually, Tito Noli po, and then that's a very good silver lining. Um, but I, I, I think it's it's, it's more unfortunate than not that she did get injured. Um, of course, it's it doesn't leave a good um, feeling for me. But I, but I, I, I'm right now. I'm just focusing on my singles and wishing that she can recover well. Well, we well, certainly, we certainly hope, hope so as well. well. But of course, uh, everybody's rooting for you and uh, hoping that um, you uh, continue all the way. Alex, you have a tough match ahead. Uh, you're playing against a Czech opponent, uh, Luci Havlikova. And uh, she's seated number two. Um, and she won the French Open, as your dad told me this morning. Uh, how how uh, familiar are you with, uh, with uh, Havlikova? Have you played her in the past? Uh, no, I have not played her, um, so it will definitely be a different experience for me, new experience, um, but I'm going to go in with no pressure and just have the same mindset of all the matches I've, I've won before. Your, your thoughts about that match, uh, what kind of style does she play when you look at her? Um, is, is it something that is suited to your game and how confident are you going to come into that match? Well, I think she's a very aggressive player and very solid. As you said, she did win the Roland Garros, so um, I'm definitely not expecting an easy fight. But, uh, you know, I think I'm well prepared for this next match and I've been pre preparing for a while. Um, and I'm just going to trust myself and believe that what I've done is enough to, to keep me around for one more. All right. Well, I don't want to keep you. I know you have to rest. Uh, Alex, are, are, are you are you cel are you having dinner with the family? Uh, how is the celebration? Uh, yes, I will have dinner later. <laughs> um, <laughs> the celebration is, is half and half because you have to be happy about today, but also focus on tomorrow's match and keep my head down um, and mentally ready for tomorrow. Excellent. Uh, have you heard from Rafa Nadal? <laughs> Not yet. <but laughs> no, um, I am sure he's very busy, but hopefully, hopefully. All soon. right. Well, final Thank message, you. Alex. Sa mga fans mo sa Pilipinas, everyone is praying for you, of course, and uh, maraming nagabang sa laban mo mamaya. What time is it nga pala? What time will the match be later? Have you? Do you already 12, know? Um, 12, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. All right. So New that's uh, 12 a.m. here in Manila. So final message, Alex, to your fans here mm -hmm. in the Philippines. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat na nagsuporta at nagdasal sa akin. Um, I will give my best tomorrow at sana uh, you guys will be proud and sana makikita nyo that I'm, I'm really working hard. Nagsisikap talaga ako and I want to make the Philippines proud and on the map of tennis. Oh, we are already proud, Alex. And uh, personally, Alex, I wish you all the best. It is a uh, fitting start for me as the uh, chairman of the Philippine Sports Commission. Yes, that it big is congratulations, Tito Noli. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. And, and, you know, it's my niece uh, who is uh, carrying the flag for us and uh, on my first week. And I'm just so happy for you. I wish you all the best. Godspeed. And uh, we will be praying. The whole family is so Thank proud you, and we're praying for you. Maraming salamat, Alex. Regards to your mom and dad. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Mga kaibigan, ang ating pong pinagmamalaki. Ang tennis sensation ng Pilipinas, 17 year old Alex Iyala, live from New York. Um, siya po, ah, kagaya na nabanggit natin, ay nanalo kanina. Uh, madaling araw po yan, natalo niya yung Canadian, nakalaban niya sa semifinals. Ito po ang kauna-unahang um, singles finals ni Alex sa isang Grand Slam. Alam niyo po ang tennis, may apat na pinakamahalagang turneyo sa buong mundo. Ha? na panalunan na po ni Alex dalawa dyan sa pamamagitan ng doubles ito po ang kanyang pangatlo pero ito ang kauna-unahang pagkakataon niya sa isang singles title yung mag-isa siya ha? at ito po ay hindi maliit na bagay dahil na, yung pinakamahuhusay pong player sa buong mundo sa juniors level ang naglalaban pero yung po sa juniors level na yan yan na po ang susunod na doon sa regular women's tour in fact Alex plays the regular women's tour Ah, diyan po sa uh, tennis no? um, So talaga po yung WTA At uh, sumasali na po siya dyan Because she is already preparing Nalalabas na siya sa juniors program At malaki pong karangalan Para sa ating bansa
na ang ating kababayan si Alex Ayala ay magtatayo ng bandila ng Pilipinas sa US Open mamaya pong madaling araw o bukas po ng umaga madaling araw kung may pagkakataong kayong manood eh tumutok po tayo sa live stream meron po mga links na mahahanap dyan medyo pagtyagaan lang ninyo ha? o di kaya ay tumutok po sa Twitter at tayo po ay magfi-feed ng kaganapan sa laro ni Alex Iyala and of course uh, tayo po ay magdasal yun lang po ang hinihiling ng ating kababayan si Alex at ang buong naming pamilya na pagdasal po natin si Alex sa kanyang laban mamaya laban sa isang uh, Czech player si Luci Havlikova number 2 seed sa US Open magaling po malakas uh, it will be a tough match sabi nga ni Alex but sabi niya she's very confident na lalaban siya mamaya para sa ating bayan. So again, congratulations Alex Ayala for a wonderful tournament so far and we wish you all the best sa inyong uh, laban, sa inyong mga susunod na laban para sa ating bayan dyan sa US Open. Alright, bago tayo magpatuloy, ha? ito po muna ang ating uh, uh, pinupulsuhan. Ha? Ito po ang ating uh, pinupulsuhan ngayong araw pong ito. Alam naman natin, last Sunday, eh, nagwagi na po ang San Miguel Beermen ha? ha kontra sa Talk and Text kaya susunod na ang next conference yung Commissioner's Cup ha uh, at kaya po ang ating pupulsuhan ngayong araw na ito ay tungkol po sa malapit ng pagsisimula ng Commissioner's Cup I believe it's September 21 ba something like that no yun ang uh, mukhang yun ang stimula ng uh, PBA Commissioner's Cup Kahapon kasama ko si Commissioner Willie Marshall eh. So ang uh, ang amin pong pulso ngayong araw pong ito ha, ang pulso ng bayan hatid sa inyo ng Chooks to Go ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Ano pong roster change ang gusto niyo makita sa paborito ninyong PBA team bago magsimula ang Commissioner's Cup ha? Gusto niyo bang makita uli si James Yap? Ha? O kon si James ha, kamusta ka? <laughs> panay ang panay ang uh, tawag sa atin ni Consi, kamusta? Uh, gusto niyo bang makita si Greg Slaughter? Uy, si Greg Slaughter pala, napapunta na ng Japan. <laughs> Pero mamaya po, makakausap natin si Greg Slaughter sa ating In The Spotlight. Ha? Abangan niyo po yan. Gusto niyo bang makita ang isang trade para sa kuponan ng Terra Firma? O gusto niyo bang makita si Jamie Malonso na lalaro pa rin sa Northport? Ha? Marami pong uh, mga maaari mangyari dyan. Pero ang tanong po natin ulit sa ating pulso ng bayan, ano pong roster change ang gusto niyong makita sa paborito ninyong PBA team bago magsimula ang Commissioner's Cup? Mag-post lamang po ng inyong mga komentaryo sa aming uh, uh, Facebook page ng Power and Play at ng uh, 1PH Radio 5 o di kaya sa aking uh, Twitter account at Noli Iyala. At uh, mamaya po babasahin natin ang inyong mga komentaryo ha. Uh, next week, sisimulan ulit natin yung pong pagmamimigay natin ng gift certificates mula sa Chooks to Go. Pero this week, babasahin lang po natin mamaya ang inyong mga uh, komentaryo. Alright, tuloy-tuloy po ang ating uh, pamimigay dito ng mga premyo. At syempre, ang nangungunang namimigay sa atin ng premyo, walang iba kundi ang Joyride Super App. Ang, uh, at binabalik po niya ang Joyride Top Up Promo dito po sa Power and Play. Napakasimple lang po ang ating uh, mechanics, mga kapatid. Ha? Download lamang po the latest version of the Joyride Super App. Tapos, kuhanan nyo po ng screenshot. Uh, kasama po uh, yung home screen. Ha? Uh, kasama po ang inyong pangalan na dapat ay lumabas dun sa screenshot. Ipadala po itong screenshot na to sa aming Facebook page sa Power and Play via PM. Ha? Tapos, isama nyo na rin po ang inyong pangalan at ang inyong mobile number on your Joyride account. At kami po ipipili mamaya sa katapusan ng show ng limang lucky winners para manalo ng 1,000 pesos each na Joyride Pay Wallet Credits. Again, ito po ay hatid sa inyo ng Joyride Super App ang bago ninyong kasundo. Alright, mamaya-maya mga kapatid, ah, uh, ating makakapanayam din ang Philippine Handball Team sa ating bagong segment na The Slam Book. Ah, malalaman natin kung ano po mga bagong laro. Ano pa ang, paano ba laruin to at anong uh, nangyayari sa mga programa ng ating National Sports Associations. Mamaya rin po, makakasama rin natin 
ang isa pang nagbibigay ng karangalan sa atin patungo na ng Men's Softball World Cup. Aba, kala nyo, basketball lang ang may World Cup na papasok ang ating mga kuponan. Hindi po. Pati po softball, pati football. E eh, kasama po, papuntang World Cup. Kaya lahat po ng mga teams ay uh, ika nga talagang nagsusumikap. At mamaya makakasama natin ang Philippine Blue Boys live din po sa ating show ngayong araw na ito. Alright, so bago po tayo mag-break, isa muna pong paalala mula sa ating mga kaibigan from SMART. Puso Pilipinas is a movement to celebrate the Filipino athlete powered by SMART. Follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Get a chance to win exclusive Puso Pilipinas merch by sharing their Facebook page in your social media accounts with hashtag Puso Pilipinas. The Giga Life app is the latest mobile app from SMART that lets you discover and enjoy your passions with the different Giga promos. It can be downloaded and used by SMART, smart Postpaid, SMART Prepaid, Bro Prepaid, and TNT subscribers via the Apple or Google Play Store. What can the Giga Life app do for me? Check your balance. Monitor your current subscription. Top up using debit credit card. Subscribe to the latest Giga promos. Monitor your data consumption. Auto-detect your mobile number when you are connected to Smart Network one-tap subscription to the most popular offer, Giga Video 99. And of course, Power and Play is powered by Smart. Live Smart! Alright, when we come back, it will be with the Philippine Blue Boys. Dito po, sa inyong paboritong kasama tuwing Sabadong uh, almusal ng Sabado ng umaga, ito po ang Power and Play. Hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Loom, Cherry Tigo, Chooks to Go, at ng True Religion. Ang oras po natin, 8.17 ng umaga. I dare to dream big. To be a voice of my generation. To inspire resilience in the face of roadblocks. And in sharing my stories, I let others share in my passion. Follow Kai's stories on Twitter and share yours with Smart Double Giga Stories. Share two times the passion with two gigabytes for Twitter and more. Guaranteed every day, plus data for all sites. Simple, smart ako. Alex? Alex! Are you ready to have some fun on your first driving lesson? Nag-uumapaw sa real chicken juice. Naswak sa panlasa ng buong pamilya. Available in sweet roast, pepper roast, at harissa roast variants. Chooks to go. Masarap kahit walang sauce. Tawag na sa Chooks to Go Delivery Hotline, 8687-1010 o online sa chookstogodelivery.com or via GrabFood at Food Panda. Sapit ng alas 5.30 ng hapon, nagbabagang balita at impormasyong dapat malaman. Mainit na ihahati mula sa front lines. Mas maagang pagbabalita para una kayong makasagap ng mga impormasyong dapat nyong malaman. Mapagkakatiwalaan, maaasahan at patas sa pagbabalita. Yan ang hatid ng Frontline Pilipinas. Mula lunes hanggang biyernes, 5.30pm, live dito sa TV5. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Magrarat-ratang muli ang mga paborito mong PBA players sa half court. Mas pinalakas. Ripa, nakawala. 
Now she pushes it home. Must be a double. Can't believe that by shaking me. Flores attacks and snaps it home. Bolo yang laban ng lakas ng tatlo sa PBA 3x3 Season 2. Simula September 10 sa One Sports at PBA Rush. Ang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Power and Play. Team na sa Radyo 5 92.3 News FM. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Naimbag nga bigat yo amen sa ating po mga kababayan sa Lawag City and of course uh, Viga ni Locosur at sa San Esteban ni Locosur. Magandang magandang uh, umaga din po sa ating mga suki sa Tanawan, Batangas at of course sa uh, Tresi Martres diyan po sa Cavite. Oh nga pala, congratulations sa NCAA. Magbubukas sa kanilang season ngayong araw pong ito. Congratulations sa lahat po ng bumubuo sa NCAA. Thank you for the invitation. Um medyo uh, I really wish all the best sa inyo pong uh, bagong liga. Congratulations din also nga pala kay Dicky Batman na hinirang ng bagong pinaka uh, bagong commissioner ng UAAP. Ha? Congratulations uh, Dicky Batman. Siya rin ang operations uh, director ng uh, SBP pagdating sa FIBA World Cup uh, Local Organizing Committee. All right, mga kaibigan, uh, alam niyo po recently Nagkaroon tayo ng balita tungkol sa football. Alam niyo po, pasok na sa football World Cup ang Philippine Blue Boys matapos ang kanilang top 2 finish sa 11th men's, men's Softball Asian Cup na ginanap sa Japan. Gaganapin ang World Cup sa New Zealand mula November 26 hanggang December 4. Ito na ang panglabing isang appearance ng Pilipinas sa World Cup at target nilang Mahigitan pa ang 16th, 16th place finish noong 2016. At kayo po, para pag-usapan pa natin ang istoryang yan na talaga namang napaka-importante uh, at uh, mahalaga, kasama po natin walang iba kung hindi ang Blue Boys Head Coach Apple Rosales at ang kanilang team captain na si Michael Pagkaliwagan. Magandang umaga, Coach and Michael! Power and play with Com Noli Iyala. Good morning po. Good morning. Ito po ang fast day. Katid sa inyo, of course, ng Cherry Tigo. It's fun to drive. Magun magandang umaga, Coach. Uh, Coach Apple, kamusta ka na? Yes, sir. Magandang umaga po, Chairman. At magandang umaga, Michael. Uh, salamat sa pagdalo ngayong umaga. Good morning po, Chairman. Good morning po. Maraming maraming salamat. Ako eh, talagang... Uh, Unang-una, congratulations sa inyong pagkapanalo at uh, pakipaabot ng aking uh, congratulations kay Mr. Luillier sa napakagandang programa ng, uh, uh, foot, ng uh, softball. Coach, ikaw unahin ko muna. Uh, nabanggit mo na nung inisang interview mo na sabi mo 60 to 70 percent ng chances nyo na makakapasok sa World Cup bago pa kayo naglaro. Ha? Nabanggit mo na to. Ano ba yung nagbigay sa inyo ng kumpiyansa? na talagang uh, makakagawa kayo ng maganda dyan sa qualifier bagamat nagkaroon tayo ng konting disappointment sa Southeast Asian Games? Um, una po, kaya nagbanggit ko po yun, uh, Chairman, kasi po uh, sa, hab- sa months po sa nakasama ko yung mga players natin dito sa training, so nakita ko sa mga bata natin na talagang focus na focus sila sa sa aming uh, gaganaping Asian qualifying. Kaya, ang sa tingin ko, kaya nakapagsabi ako ng 60-70% kasi nakita ko yung agresibo nila, lalong-lalong na sa training kahit ang team natin mas bata. Kompleto ba? Kompleto ba yung team na binuo mo, uh, Coach? Nagkaroon ka ba ng sapat na panahon para talagang buuin yan? Um, 
kulang po sir sa panahon gawa po ng siyempre yung training natin limitado mm-hmm. uh, kasi sa mga protocols so talagang nahirapan po kami sa nagpa open tryout po kami nung January oo pa yung iba, yung ipa yung iba po naman uh, kasi yung mga estudyante yung players natin so may may mga limitasyon po sa sa tryout sa training mm. so doon po kami nahirapan mm. right. mabuo naman yan sir mabuo, mabuo yung team nagka problema naman po tayo sa sa venue nung training aba oh oo nga oh uh, kasi po syempre hindi pa rin po pwede yung ating Rizal Memorial nung time na yon oo oh. Eh, naghanap pa po ako, sir, ng ano, ng, kung yung po pwede ng mga LGU, kumuusap po tayo mm-hmm. para kung, kung saan tayo po pwede. So, blessings na rin kasi nagamit natin yung softball field dito sa Agoncillo, Batangas. Ba? So, talupang bali, two months po yung team dito sa sa Agoncillo, Batangas. Alright. Alright. Ma- Ma- Michael, matanong kita. Uh, sabi nga ni Coach, medyo kinulang sa panahon. Uh, pero... Uh, in terms of the preparation, kayo ba ay uh, nabigyan ng sapat na suporta? Halimbawa, um, uh, uh, mga, mga pakain, uh, funding. Kamusta ang inyong paghahanda at uh, even yung mga, yung mga skills coach, uh, conditioning, uh, psychologist? Nabigyan ba kayo ng ganyan, uh, Michael, nung kayo ay naghahanda para sa World Cup, ay para sa qualifier? Yes po, yes po, Chairman. Uh, okay naman po, meron po kaming... Conditioning, nung nalipat po kami sa Rizal Memorial, nabigyan po kami ng conditioning doon. Tapos nung nandun po kami sa Agoncillo, uh, bale, binibigay lang po sa amin ng aming conditioning, tapos kami po yung nag-workout, binibigay lang sa amin yung kailangan namin gawin. A- ano naging mindset ninyo, Michael, yung buong team? Ikaw, uh, bilang uh, isa sa mga, ika nga, eh, haligi dyan. Ano naging mindset ng team? Ano naging susi sa victory ninyo? sa uh, sa Japan. Ah, uh, sa amin po sir, ba, laging tiwala sa sarili. Tapos uh, kumpiyansa, kailangan laging kumpiyansa sa sarili at yung samahan ng team. Maganda po yung samahan ng team namin. Ang uh, balita ko eh marami ding player dito ay uh, bago, no? Marami ring bago, no, Michael? Yes po, yes po. Alis po mga nasa 60% po. Um, oh. bago po. O, yung ba, uh, paano nyo ginawa na talagang mabuo at uh, ma- maihanda ka agad sila? And of course, yung chemistry o ika nga, yung samahan ng, ng team. Pa, paano yan uh, ginawa ninyo? May mga aktibidades ba kayo para sa pagbubuo ng, uh, pag, uh, ng chemistry ng team? Yun po, uh, lahat po ng mga kailang ituro ng mga coaches doon sa mga bago, nagagawa naman po nila. Tapos kami pong mga senior, Uh, ginagay din po namin sila yung kailangan gawin, ganito, pag mayroon silang question sa amin na about sa laro na natutunan namin sa mga coaches po namin, itinuturo po namin sa kanila sa mga bago. Coach Apol, uh, ano ang masasabi mong uh, asset o lakas nitong team na to? Kaya naman maganda ang inyong ipinakita dun sa qualifiers. Uh, ang nakita ko dito... Uh, chairman, yung speed natin Kasi nga uh, Mga bata And then may mga power, potential mm-hmm. So yun yung nakita ko na ano eh uh, Yun yung number one key Sa mm-hmm. pagkapanalo ng, uh, ng team natin Yung speed Kasi nagulat yung mga kalaban namin Especially yung Japan sa championship uh-huh. Iba na yung tema ng laro ng, ng Blue Boys So yun yung yung uh, Yun yung key Sa pagkapanalo ng, uh, ng team Pinag-uusapan yung mga laro ninyo, uh, natalo kayo sa Singapore, uh, pero, at natalo rin tayo sa Japan, pero nakabawi tayo at nakahabol tayo dun sa top 2 slots para makapasok ng Softball World Cup. Nawalan ba kayo ng pag-asa, Michael? Nung na kayo natalo, did you, na, napaghinaan ba kayo ng loob nung panahon na yon na uh, naku, baka hindi tayo umabot o yun ay uh, hindi nyo ininda? Ah, uh. Uh, so, totoo lang po, Chairman, talagang naghinaan po kami ng loob. Pero, sinabi ko sa mga teammate ko na hindi pa tapos ang laban, kaya pa natin to makakapasok pa tayo. And uh, ano ang naging uh, adjustment ninyo nung muli nyo hinarap ulit ang, uh, ang Japan? Bigla, bigla pong bumub... Na, lalong lumakas yung team, Chairman. L- lalong lumakas yung kumpiyansa sa sarili. 
dalong sumayang maglaro, malaki ang kumpiyansa. Alright. Uh, coach, ano ang naging turning point dito sa qualifiers after those two losses? Uh, una, after nung Singapore loss namin, dun kami, sir, na, ano, eh, na low moral. Uh, and then, ang, ang, ang ginawa nilang ng coaches sa motivation sa mga players kasi mayroon pa namang chance. And then, yun nga, uh, blessings na rin sa atin na nabigyan niya ng konting chance yung nakita natin. So, yun, ang, yun na yung nag uh, nag nagbigay sa mga bata ng kumpiyansa kasi yung chance na, na yun. Kaya yung game po natin against India, uh, although tinalo talaga ng India yung, yung Singapore, eh, hindi kami nawalan ng pag-asa. So, lumaban pa rin yung team. Mm -hmm. Napakaganda na yung hitting, defense, uh, almost perfect yung game namin against India. Very good. Well, may, meron kang, uh, ang team may meron mga dalawang buwan para maghanda patungo sa, sa Auckland, New Zealand. Ang laban ninyo is November 26. Uh, Unang-una, anong plano, uh, coach? Anong plano ninyo? Uh, pamula ngayon hanggang uh, sa pagsisimula uh, ng, ng World Cup sa New Zealand? So, yun nga, Chairman, uh, kailangan namin ng seryosong training. Uh, medyo, ang nakikita ko lang, yung problema, yung mga estudyante natin dito sa UAAP, kasi mo, uh, 60% mga estudyante. So, doon lang kami nakakakita siguro ng problema kasi may, may mga iba't ibang coaches sila o mga schools na baka hindi sila pumayag. So, yun ang unang nakikita kong problema. And then, siyempre, sir, yung preparation namin, yung Rizal Memorial kasi, mm -hmm. hindi kami, may, may time limit lang kami dun eh. Two oh. hours lang kami pwede oh. sa isang araw. Uh -huh. So, yun yung pag-uusapan ng, yun po yung pag-uusapan ng, ano, ng association, kung paano at saan ang aming uh, training, training venue. Ba ba bakit daw, dadalawang oras lang, uh, coach? Kasi po kasi po chairman may marami pong gumagamit may may softball women, may baseball men and baseball women. Kaya every day po ay yun ang training. Mm -hmm. So talagang pinag pinaghati-hati po yung oras ng baseball stadium. Mm -hmm. Well, alam mo nasa likod lang ng opisina ko yan at nakikita ko yung mga naglalaro doon ha. Pero sa tingin ko ay eh, magagawa natin ng paraan yan sapagkat uh, Eh, World Cup naman ang papatutunguhan nyo eh. Kailangan ninyo siguro ng mas maraming oras At uh, sige, uh, wag kang mag-alala coach at ating uh, uh, kakausapin ng uh, ating mga kasama dyan Para mabigyan kayo ng mas maraming oras German, uh, pwede po bang, bang maka-request pa ng isa? <laughs> Oo, oh, sige, go, go coach. Kasi po German, yung, sa, sa totoo lang po yung aming pong tirahan German Eh, araw-araw po in dalawa, in two months before po kami nagpunta ng Japan, ano po yung mga taga Batangas, Bulacan, eh uwian po yan, chairman. Mm. Na, naaawa po ako dun sa ating mga players. Mm. Uh, gusto sana po as a head coach para din po makafocus kami sa training. Sana po mabigyan kami ng, ng isang dorm man lang dun sa Rizal Memorial. And Ayusin then, natin yan. Uh, papahanapan natin kayo ng lugar. Uh, alam ko na... Kung hindi man sa ano ay makakahanap tayo basta mahalaga yan na kayo ay mabigyan ng suporta para magtuloy-tuloy ang inyong uh, paghahanda. But ayusin natin yang coach at uh, sabihin mo kay pumasyal kayo sa tanggapan at tayo ay uh, mag-usap-usap. Uh, coach. All right. Uh, Michael, uh, may plano ba na dagdagan pa yung team? Uh, meron ba kayong uh, planong magdagdag ng player, huma humugot ng mga bago para lalo pang lumakas ang team? Uh, sa tingin po, sa tingin ko po ngayon, Chairman, uh, hindi na po kailangan. Kasi yung mga teammate ko po talagang malalakas na po. Kailangan lang po talaga ng konting practice pa po. At saka exposure. M meron ba kayo nakukuha mga tune-up games? Uh, sa ngayon po, Go ahead. Uh, ako na lang siguro po. Sige, ang, coach. Uh, sige, coach. Uh, chairman, yung sa ngayon po, uh, hirap po kami kumuha ng mga, ng mga tune-up games. Uh, kasi po, ang nakakalaban po namin, siyempre, medyo angat na. Wala pong masyadong quality team dito sa atin. Oo, oh, tama. At yun na po yung pinakamalakas dito sa atin talaga. Ang kailangan po talaga natin, chairman, yung 
exposure sa international exposure. Kasi wala, doon po yung mga quality teams talaga. Oh. Eh kayo, wala kayong planong uh, lumabas? Walang plano si Mr. Lewiller na daling kayo sa labas? Uh, yun na nga po, Chairman. Ito, yung siguro po, may, nagpapatawag po siya ng meeting according to sa, sa program na gagawin namin. Mm -hmm. So, siguro yun na po yung aming pag-uusapan. Very good. Well, Michael, anong expectations mo sa pagdating sa World Cup? Uh, ano ang mga ika nga inaasahan ninyo? Sabi ko nga kanina, ang pinakamataas nating ranking was parang 16th place. No? So kayo ba ay uh, umaasa na ito talaga ay uh, malalampasan ninyo? Yes po, Chairman. Kasi ako po ay bali patatlong world ko na po ito sa New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Kita po naman namin lahat talagang malalakas yung nakalaban. Pero gagawin po namin lahat para bumaba yung ranking po namin. Para medyo tumaas-taas pa ng bumaba ng 16, ganyan, bababa. Gawin po namin lahat para ma manalo sa, sa laban. Okay. Alam mo, because of this development, uh, Coach at Michael, eh, talagang uh, nailagay uli ang uh, softball sa, sa harap no, ng balita. Uh, ang, ta ang tanong ko, I guess, kay uh, Michael muna, eh, sa tingin mo ba ang softball ay uh, uh, hindi masyado nabibigyan ng pansin? Eh, ito naman ay isang sport na pwede tayo talagang uh, umangat at mag-excel. Sa tingin mo ba na overlook ang softball, uh, Michael? Uh, sa akin naman po, Chairman, hindi naman po. Kasi tuloy-tuloy naman po lagi suporta sa amin ni Boss John Henry Lewillier. Alright. Uh, and of course, ngayon na kayo ay nasa World Cup, paano ito makakatulong sa sport, uh, Coach Apple? Uh, ito nga po marami, po, marami pong mga potential players ng softball dito po sa buong Pilipinas, uh, Chairman, Especially nandun po sa Visayas and Mindanao. Uh, kaya po sa tingin ko, ito na yung time na masuportahan lalo natin yung softball. Mm -hmm. Kasi po yung wala, konti lang po yung nakapag-tryouts dun sa taga Mindanao and uh, Visayas. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga po sa pande pandemic. Oo oh, nga. O, pero mar sa marami pong nagpapadala sa atin ng videos na mga potential players. So yun nga lang po ang kinalulungkot natin, eh, hindi sila nakatend. Oh. ng uh, ng patryouts ng Asafil. Sayang. Sayang at talagang uh, dapat nating maka tayo, dapat tayo baka discover pa ng napakaraming uh, players para sa softball. Uh, alam ko na may mga local governments na gusto sumuporta sa softball at baseball kaya uh, hanapan natin ng paraan para lalo pang uh, mapalaganap ang laro ng softball pagdating sa mga uh, probinsya. Coach, uh, maraming salamat sa oras na binigay mo sa amin ngayon. Uh, of course, Michael, uh, good luck sa paglalaro. Uh, sana nga ay uh, makapaghanda kayo na mabuti at uh, huwag ka mag-alala at ating bibigyan ng suporta ang softball at uh, yung mga uh, uh, hinaing ninyo ay ating uh, uh, pag-uusapan kagad at tututukan natin at bigyan natin ng suporta ang team natin, ang Blue Boys papuntang World Cup. Maraming salamat muli, Coach at uh, Michael. Maraming salamat po, Chairman. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Mga kaibigan, ang ating uh, miyembro ng Philippine Blue Boys na papasok na po sa Men's Softball World Cup sa Auckland, New Zealand sa November. Uh, walang iba kundi si Coach Apple Rosales at si uh, Team Captain Michael Pagkaliwagan. Naku eh, marami talagang kailangang ayusin dyan sa mga sport na yan. Kaya medyo... Uh, binibigyan po natin ng pansin ngayon pero syempre uh, tayo nagpapasalamat sa ating private uh, sponsor na si Mr. John Henry Luwilier na talaga uh, napakalakas ang suporta sa Philippine softball at sana po ay ating suportahan din ang iba't ibang klase ng mga atleta na talaga naman pong naghahanda, lumalaban para sa bayan para po mabigyan ng karangalan ang ating bansa Alright mga kaibigan, bago tayo magpatuloy, eh, silipin muna natin ang ating mga viral videos at pop culture sa mundo ng palakasan sa Stop and Pop. Tom Noli Iyala. Sabi nila, importante daw ang balls of steel sa sports. Ako <laughs> ha, uh, Santi, ano ba itong title mong ito ha? So ko, sige, panoorin nga natin to mga kapatid. Ito pala ang ibig sabihin niyan. Ayon! <laughs> Sus Marie Joseph, patunay po dyan ang ating video for this week. Talaga namang ramdam nyo ang sakit kahit panoorin lang. Slow mo pa yan ha, ang video na ito. 
Ang tanong ko lang, paano naman nakalusot yung bolang yun? Doon sa catcher. Ang catcher po nahampas pa sa maselang bahagi ng kanyang katawan. Kaya safe to say, merong strike sa play na yan. Yung kanyang uh, maselang parte ng katawan. <laughs> Yat po ang ating stop and pop moment sa power and play. Magbabalik po po kami dito sa Power and Play. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan. Philippine Handball! Ang ating pong tututukan sa ating bagong uh, segment na Slam Book. Dito po sa aming pagbabalik. Ito po ang, stop and, uh, ang Power and Play. Hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Loom, Cherry Tigo, Chooks to Go, at ng True Religion. Ang oras po natin, 8.41 ng umaga. I dare to dream big. To be a voice of my generation. To inspire resilience in the face of roadblocks. And in sharing my stories, I let others share in my passion. Follow Kai's stories on Twitter and share yours with Smart Double Giga Stories. Share two times the passion with two gigabytes for Twitter and more. Guaranteed every day, plus data for all sites. Simple, smart, ako. Alex. Alex, are you ready to have some fun on your first driving lesson? Nag-uumapaw sa Real Chicken Juice na swak sa panlasa ng buong pamilya. Available in Sweet Roast, Pepper Roast, at Harissa Roast Variants. Chooks to go. Masarap kahit walang sauce. Tawag na sa Chooks to Go Delivery Hotline, 8687-1010 o online sa chookstogodelivery.com or via GrabFood at Food Panda. Ihahatid sa inyo ng mga veteranong news anchors ang mga nagbabagang balita, malalaking headlines at impormasyong dapat malaman mula umaga hanggang gabi. Si Gretchen Ho, tuwing 10 a.m. sa Frontline sa umaga. Si Cheryl Cosim at Julius Babao, tuwing 5.30 ng hapon sa Frontline Pilipinas. At si Edling Gaw at Mea Nosmanos, tuwing 10.30 ng gabi sa Frontline Tonight. Tumutok, lunes hanggang biyernes sa TV5. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taon pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. May namiss ka bang mga shoot, pasa at hiyawan? Ngayon, hindi na! Dahil araw-araw mo nang mapapanood ang mga paborito mong sports program sa TV! Watch us on these channels! Free TV Channel 41 Signal TV Channel 6 Sky Cable Channel 59 One Sports! Ito ang go-to tambayan for your favorite sports programs! Dito ka na sa paboritong tambayan mo pagdating sa sports! Ang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taon pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Prepare your heart for an all-out clash. Catch the Premier Volleyball League Invitational Conference. Games every Tuesdays, 2.30 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. Thursdays and Saturdays, 2.30 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. On One Sports. Power and Play. Team na sa Radyo 5, 92.3 News FM.
Uh, babalik po tayo sa Power and Play. Uh, o nga pala, ha? Uh, gusto ko pong uh, magpasalamat doon po sa mga nagpa nagpadala ng mga suporta nila sa ating pong unang linggo dyan sa PSC. Uh, lahat po ng mga bumisita sa atin at nag, uh, uh, nagbigay at nagsabi ng kanilang suporta. Maraming maraming salamat po. Uh. Alam niyo po, marami talagang problema tayo sa Philippine sports pero talagang pong uh, nakatutok ang uh, buong tanggapan ng PSC para po Bigyan ng bagong uh, programa, bagong enerhiya, bagong buhay ang Philippine Sports. At sana nga ay uh, matupad namin po sa tulong ng ating mga partners uh, sa sports and of course sa uh, pamahalaan sa pumumuno of course ng ating pong Pangulo, si uh, ginoong Pangulong uh, Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. na nagbigay na po ng uh, salita na talagang bibigyan niya po ng priority ang mga atleta. Kaya po tayo susunod lamang sa queue ng ating mahal na palung Pangulo at ating pong uh, siguradong uh, sisimulan po ang mga programang kailangan. Uh, kahapon lang po, eh, kami uh, nagdesisyon na lahat po ng ating mga atleta ay hindi babawasan ng kanilang mga allowances. Alam niyo po sa PSC, meron pong tinatawag na reclassification after the Southeast Asian Games. Yung meron ganun pong polisiya. Kapag uh, nagkaroon po ng pagbaba sa inyong standing mula sa dating uh, nakuha ninyo sa dating Southeast Asian Games, ay eh, maaari kayong ma-reclassify. Well, ako po kahapon, ang aking pong uh, direksyon ay simple lamang ho. Ang sinasabi ko, sinasabi natin tayo ay kakalinga sa ating mga atleta. We will care for sports, for Philippine sports like no other. E eh, wag natin simulan sa pagbabawas ng allowances ng ating mga national athletes. Kaya po ang amin pong uh, utos kahapon ay panatiliin ang lahat ng allowances ng ating mga atleta at uh, kung hindi man manatili, eh, dapat itaas dun sa mga maganda ang ipinakita sa last Southeast Asian Games. Eh? Meron pa po kami mga announcements in the cup, uh, next coming days but certainly kami po ay uh, simula na sa mga programang uh, gusto natin ipatupad para sa Philippine Sports. Sa konting pasyensya lang po, pero every Saturday, we will try to report, I will try to report po sa mga nangyayari dyan sa Philippine Sports Commission. Alright, bago tayo magpatuloy, magpasalamat muna tayo sa mga tuma nag nagtataguyod po ng ating programa, ang ating sports advocacy. Walang iba kundi ang ating mga sponsors dito po sa Power and Play. Maraming salamat po sa Cherry Loom, mangyerong may aluminum sa ganitong pabago-bago ang panahon, mga kapatid. Sobrang init tapos bubuhos ang ulan. Kailangan natin ng matibay at protektadong bubong. Dapat ang bubong ay yerong may aluminum. Kapag may aluminum, tsak na pang matagalan. At isa lang, alam kong di kalidad na yerong may aluminum, yan ang Cherry Loom. Tibay protektado sa pang matagalang yero, Cherry Loom. Ang yerong may aluminum. Thank you! Cherry Tigo 8 Pro, how neat it is to have a 7-seater SUV that has a powerful engine, world-class safety standards, and the latest tech features. Bet you didn't know that all the all-new uh, Cherry Tigo 8 Pro has all these features and more at a very affordable price range. Cherry Tigo 8 Pro is equipped with a 1.6 turbocharged gasoline direct injection engine, an advanced driver uh, assistance system, and 12 other safety features including lane departure warning. Kailangan natin yan, ha? <laughs> Pagdating sa mga no uh, contact apprehension, ha? And of course, traffic jam assist. The flagship Tigo 8 Pro allows you more control of the wheel. What's great is you can also join... The Green Revolution with Cherry Tigo 8 Pro Plug-in Hybrid Electric Vehicle or PHEV. So book a test drive now via www.cherryauto.ph or visit a Cherry dealership near you. Thank you! Chooks to go! Ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan, subukan ang kanilang pinakabagong oven roasted chicken na mas pinasarap dahil sa nag-uumapaw na flavorful chicken juice. Try also Chooks! The first dining restaurant ng Chooks to Go dyan po sa Lipa, Batangas. Chooks to Go, ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Thank you! True religion is in the Philippines where passion meets power. Experience it firsthand for your best style choices. Visit True Religion at Conrades Maison Mall of Asia Complex, Resorts World Manila at sa Hacienda Designer Outlet 
sa Silang Cavite. True religion where passion meets power. Thank you! Joyride, ang bago ninyong kasundo. Magpadala with confidence kahit para sa negosyo o personal bulk deliveries. Kayang-kaya yan, i-deliver securely with Joyride. And of course, subukan niyo po ang aming Joyride car at tuloy-tuloy ang serbisyo ng motorcycle taxi. So, download the latest Joyride Super App now. Thank you! Elms Seafood Paluto, the latest offering of the Elms Resto Bar Group located at Unit 2 Ground Floor, Calia Bistro, Ever Commonwealth, Quezon City. Enjoy their delectable seafood menu in a relaxed, casual dining atmosphere for your salo-salo seafood meal. Elms Seafood Paluto. Thank you! Skin your face and body anti-aging center with offices or branches at Alabang Town Center and Green Hill San Juan. For your skin assessment and treatment schedule, call 0917-890-1640 or 0977-809-8886. Thank you! ASEA Subic Beach Resort. Experience the getaway that you deserve and dive into limitless happenings, rejuvenating experiences, and gastronomic adventures. ASEA Subic Beach Resort. Thank you! And of course, Power and Play is powered by Smart. Live Smart! Thank you! Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Binabati ko nga pala ng isang happy happy birthday ang ating uh, kasama dito sa Power and Play, ang aming pong uh, kasama pagdating sa marketing, si Ma'am, uh, si Miss, at si Mariko, Dines Regner. Happy birthday, Maring Dines! Sana ay uh, mag-enjoy ka ngayong araw na ito. Happy birthday! Alright, mga kaibigan, at this point, medyo uh, magsimula tayo ng isang segment dito tungkol sa mga emerging sports. Mga sports na ating pong kayang suportahan. At para po natin suportahan, kailangan nating maintindihan. Ito po ang slam book dito po sa Power and Play. At ngayong araw pong ito, ang ating itatambok, itatampok sa ating slam book. Walang iba kung hindi ang Philippine handball team. Sa larong handball. Ano ba yung handball? Yan ba yung kinakamay ang bola? Ano ba yung handball? Nung araw, alam ko handball, eh, tinatapik ang bola sa pader. Eh. Pero tingnan natin po kung ano ba ang handball. At ating po makakasama ngayong araw pong ito, walang iba kung hindi ang kanilang head coach, si Jana Frankelli, at ang team specialist si Van Jacob Bakay ng Philippine Handball Team. Magandang magandang umaga, Coach Jana. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Good morning, Coach. Hi, good morning, Chairman Noli. Thank okay. you for having us. And good morning, uh, ano ba, Van Bau Jacob. Jacob na lang po. Jacob. Good morning, Jacob. Thank you. Sa morning, pag, uh, po, paggising ng maaga. Bagay, atleta naman kayo. Maaga talaga yung gumigising. Eh. Uh, thank you again for joining us, uh, Coach Jana and uh, Jacob. You know, uh, bago natin pag-usapan ang mga nangyayari sa Philippine uh, handball, eh, malaman muna natin ng ating mga, uh, mga tagapanood at tagapakinig. Meron palang handball. Yung iba nagte-text na nakita ko sa ano. Ano ba yung handball? Paki-explain mo nga, Jana, ang basic rules specific to your sport. Okay, so, yung handball po, uh, yung event na sina-flash sa screen, I think it's, uh, uh, this is beach handball. So, dalawa po siya. Mm -hmm. Meron yung handball and meron yung beach handball. Parang yung volleyball, di ba mm -hmm. po, meron yung uh, volleyball sa court mm -hmm. and then uh, merong six players per side. And then, sa beach, sa beach volleyball, meron two players per side. Okay. So, sa handball, ganun din po. Meron tayong uh, indoor handball mm -hmm. and meron tayong beach handball. So, yung indoor handball, it's an Olympic sport. And um, ang isa pong side is seven players. And then, the, the, the objective of the game is mag-shoot mag ng ball sa goal. So, sa, sa indoor handball, so would you like me to... To explain uh, the indoor version or let's go straight to the beach version. Well, uh, whatever. Basta yung basic. Okay. So, basically, coach, ang sinasabi mo is ang, yeah. ang uh, handball, whether it yes. is in, indoor or beach, beach eh, yeah. sinushoot ang bola sa loob ng goal. Yung goal, ang itsura niya ay parang football goal, pero mas maliit. Yes, sir. Um, ano po, yung sa indoor, 
Kapareho lang siya ng size ng futsal goal, which is 3 meters by 2 meters. All right. The, the size for the indoor handball goal and the beach handball goal is the same. 3 uh -huh. meters by 2 meters. So, tama po kayo. Para lang siyang football. Kaya lang, ang, ang ginagamit po na pang shoot is kamay. Kaya siya handball. Uh -huh. So, it's a mix between basketball and football. Kasi uh, sa indoor, meron dribbling. Meron din steps. Kaya lang sa basketball, kung ang steps, ang traveling is uh, three steps, tayo allowed tayo up to three steps. And the fourth is the violation. So, meron mga similarities with basketball and football. So, basically, yun po yung, yung game. All right. So, ang uh, guys. Uh, 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 let me ask uh, Jacob. Jacob, uh, uh, in terms of ilang quarters yan, ano ba yan? May quarters ba yan? Periods? Ilang minuto ang laro? Nang, uh, nang, sabihin na natin, kasi doon tayo lumalaban ngayon, ano, yung beach handball. Ilang minutes yung beach handball? So, sa beach handball po, sir, meron po tayong dalawang halves. So, per half po, meron po tayong 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes. Okay. So, uh, may timeout ba yan? Meron ba yung uh, fouls? Meron bang uh, ganyan sa beach handball? Meron din pong time out. You are given one per half. And meron din pong fouls. Pero um, just like in football po, meron din pong binibigay na red card or uh, yellow card. Mm. So depending on the gravity of the foul po, mm. doon po magbe-base yung card na ibibigay sa'yo. Uh, okay, so pwede rin mag-substitution anytime? Pwede ba yon? Palitan, uh, Jacob? Yes po. Meron din, ha? Okay. Uh, coach, uh, in terms of the positions on the on the court, no? or on the field, or in the beach, ano bang, uh, meron bang ganyan? May mga sentro ba yan? Meron bang mga forward? May mga guard? O libero? Ano bang uh, 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 peculiarity ng beach handball? Yes, Coach Chairman. So, um, sa beach handball, uh, four at a time yung naglaro. Four players. So, okay. Ang positions na, na, of course, number one is the goalkeeper. Tapos, yung mga court players. Yung court players po, ano siya, um, merong pivot, wing, tsaka yung playmaker. So, si Jacob, ang tawag sa kanya, specialist. Kasi, oh, um, pareho sila ng goalkeeper na pag sila yung nag-score, automatic two points yung 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 score nila. Mm. So, ang, yes, ang beach handball kasi, Sa, ang difference niya between sa indoor and sa sa beach, yung indoor, lahat ng goals is one point lang. Uh -huh. Yung beach, meron siyang two-point goal. Oh. So, ang, uh, yes, uh, so, yung two-point goal, you can only um, earn it if you uh, um, execute a spectacular shot, like a 360. Kaya yung iba, sinasabi, ba't umiikot pa sila? Oh. Kasi pag umiikot, nagta-360. Or kaya mo alio, two points yun. Oh, oh, oh. So, si, uh, so sila, Jacob, pag sila yung, nag, yung specialist or yung goalkeeper, if they shoot the ball, kahit straight lang, kahit direct shot lang, two points din yun. Oh, so, okay. yes. So, oh. <laughs> so yung, yung question nyo po dun sa positions, Yes, kunwari yung pivot, siya yung nasa center. Mm -mm. Tapos yung wing, siya yung nasa side. So you have a left wing and a right wing. And then you have a playmaker. Oh. Um, which is usually the specialist. Alright. Uh, uh, marami nagtatanong, of course, is pwede ba kaming gumawa ng ganyang klaseng court? Gano ba kalaking space ang kailangan for a uh, beach handball uh, court? No? Uh, al alam natin, we have to play it in the beach. Pero... Halimbawa, meron lang gustong mag-insayo doon sa mga fields or sa labas. Gano'n ba kalaki ang kailangan ng uh, handball? Ah, madali lang siya. Para lang siyang basketball court. Oh, okay. um, uh, um, the size is 27 meters, the length. And the uh, width is uh, 12 meters. Di ba yung basketball, 28 by 15? Uh Oo. -oh. So, uh -oh. yung, yung handball, 27 by 12. Uh Oo. -oh. Plus, you just have to mark a goal area, a 6-meter goal area uh -oh. from the goal. Doon sa goal kasi yung sa end, di ba? Yung goal. Uh -oh. So, magmamark lang kayo ng 6 meters from that. Kasi po, pwede lang mag -shoot. Yung goal area na yon. goalkeeper lang yung pwede doon. Pwede lang yung mag-shoot yung mga court players 
six meters from the goal. Okay. So, yun lang. So, magano lang sila kahit straw. Straw lang, ipaplalagyan <laughs> lang na ng pegs. Tapos, actually, yung goal, kahit lang kami, pag nagpupunta kami sa beach noon, lalo na na nag-uumpisa kami, lalagyan lang kami ng bamboo na may fishnet. Yun na yun. Madaling <laughs> madali lang mag-set up. <laughs> Oo, kasi, syempre, alam natin, uh, ang mga tao naman, ang gusto nila yung madali lamang laruin. Kaya, well, obviously, yeah. madali rin ang rules ng uh, handball. Jacob, ikaw pala specialist. No? Parang uh, slam dunker, para kang ano, three-point shooter. No? So, um, eh, mahirap ba ang training ng handball? Can you give us an idea? Ano ang kailangang ika nga skills para ikaw maging magaling na handball player? Uh, siguro po, for me, you have to be athletic in beach handball kasi all players need to have a requirement na kaya po nila mag 360 shot yung kailangan po umikot yung umiikot yung umiikot ganun apo okay so kailangan po talaga na may foundation ka ng magandang may foundation ka ng magandang um, physical abilities para magawa nyo po yun and uh, siguro um You have to be smart din po siguro about sa sa mga plays, about sa mga set plays po. You have to be smart on the court. You have to um, have a clear vision po kasi um, mahirap po gumalaw sa beach as compared po sa court. Right. Alright. Uh, kailangan ba dyan eh matangkad? Kasi, again, ha, we're talking about uh, a game na sumusyut ka. Although, this time, ang tira mo ay pababa dahil andun yung goal sa baba. Eh, hindi sa taas, kagaya ng basketball. So, kailangan ba dyan ang, ang player ay meron ding height para naman gumaling? Or ito ba ay pwedeng laruin kahit ng medyo hindi katangkaran? Um, well po, pag po matangkad ka po, may advantage ka po syempre. Kapag ka mag-shoot ka po over defenders, if you're blocking a shooter. Pero uh, we have a teammate. His name is Joshua Tabuzo. Uh, uh, for me, he's the best player po sa, sa amin. And uh, he, uh, I'm taller than him po. Uh -huh. pa parang 5'6 po ata siya. And for me, he's the best po. Ba? So talaga may pag-asa pala talaga yung mga Pilipino. Dito sa handball. Uh, in terms of strategy, Jacob, ano ba ang strategy dyan? Kailangan ba dyan eh? Meron ba dyan mga fast break? Ano ba? Misa kasi nakikita ko yan, yung, at least yung indoor, parang pasahan ng pasahan ng pasahan eh, no? hanggang makakuha. Ano ba strategy dyan sa handball? Sa beach handball po, meron din pong fast break. Kapag po nakuha po ng keeper from defense, agad yung bola, And pag nakalabas po agad yung isang player from defense, pwede, pwede na pong pumasok yung isang offensive player. So pwede na po nila ma-execute uh, ma yung fast break. So mm -hmm. ipapasa lang po ng keeper dun sa offensive player na pumasok. And then uh, if open, he can shoot it. All right. All right. Well, you know, uh, we've learned a lot about handball. Now, I want to ask, uh, Coach, um, kamusta ang ating Philippine handball team? Uh, we had a silver medal in Vietnam sa Southeast Asian Games, of course, uh, after a, and a very, very impressive uh, 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 performance there. Natalo lamang tayo uh, sa Vietnam mismo, sa host, no? Uh, kaya tayo hindi nakakuha ng uh, gold medal. But how is the Philippine team after that breakthrough win sa Southeast Asian Games? Yeah, of course, we were very happy with the development. We could, <laughs> of course, everyone wanted to win gold. But um, actually, no one expected for us to, to get the silver because Thailand and Vietnam are really the strong, strong they, they started way ahead of us and they even have already qualified for the World Championships. And um, tapos di ba nagkaroon tayo ng pandemic, so we were like almost two years puro home training lang eh. Wala kami training together kasi di ba recently lang na-lift yung pwede kayo mag-train together. So um, in that, uh, so the silver was uh, very, we were happy with the result and we only uh, like uh, lost uh, one point 
sa shoot out with the host pantry mm-hmm. so um that was a really big um boost for our team uh and um uh yon, and we hope that we will continue with this um with this progress that we have made because our program the beach handball program is a relatively uh, a very young program yes yes uh, oh. compared to our asian well uh, to the other asian countries i understand from your secretary general na si dr j adalem <laughs> na kayo ay galing sa isang uh, laban sa korea it was like a korea cup uh, at kayo ay nanalo toto uh, tama ba yon na uh, nanalo kayo over the uh, ano ba yan? Uh, Vietnam over the gold medal yeah. team uh, is that right yeah. uh, oh yeah so it, it's a uh, yung korea it, yes we, we came from korea just this uh, the event was from august 27 to september 1 oh, oh. and yung korea kasi they are a powerhouse in handball in fact they have uh, across uh, like already six olympic medals for for the indoor handball sobrang lakas nila sa indoor handball and they already have two olympic gold medals now yung beach handball kasi it's not yet in the regular summer program but and um in 20 uh nasali na siya sa youth olympics Mm-hmm. Uh, as a regular ano, in the Youth Olympic Games in 2018. Mm-hmm. So, sa 2026, meron kasama pa rin yung beach handball doon. And uh, everyone is confident that it will be in the Summer Olympic Program in 2028 mm-hmm. because um, the U.S. is um, mas, mas stronger sila sa beach handball eh, mm-hmm. kesa sa indoor handball. So now, Korea, um, wala pa silang beach handball. Very strong sila sa indoor handball. So wala pa sila sa beach. So ngayon, they are already starting. And they invited me. Uh, they went to the SEA Games to observe. They went to the Asian Championships to observe. Then, um, um, so when they, when, they, uh, when they saw the team, they, they approached me and asked if we can, ano, they can invite us. Because they want to learn and, you know, they ask for if I can conduct le- lectures for, for them during this festival. And, uh, yun, invite nila yung Vietnam. So, this this festival was put together so that they can start the, mm. the uh, beach handball in Korea. Uh-oh. And so, <laughs> alam naman natin, pag Korea na yun nag-start. tuloy uh, na. Oh, oh, tama. Uh, there's something really there. So... We're, I know, we're just glad that, in fact, we were surprised that that they uh, they invited us because they wanted to learn from us. Uh-huh. And before no, nag-uumpisa tayo, katulad ko nun, I wanted to learn from them because they have a very good ba- foundation ba- in ba- handball. Oh. So, yun yung nangyayari. So, this Beach Handball Festival was put together. There were two Korean teams and um, Thailand was supposed to be there, but uh, in the last minute, I think they pulled out okay. uh, because of the, I think, protocols. Uh-oh. And well. uh, um, so, tayo, and then we faced the two Korean teams, and uh, it was a festival, championship uh, 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 competition, and yung, yung Vietnam, when we when we played against them, nanalo naman tayo. Ganun din. Baligtad lang. Shoot Uh-oh. out din. Shoot out din. Tayo din. naman nanalo. Oh, okay. Well, you know, that so. just shows the development of the sport. Jacob, uh, you know, ikaw ba, were you a, I mean, you, you came from another sport. Paano ka nagsimula sa handball? Uh, did you play another sport bago ka naglaro ng handball? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, let, uh, let, me, let me ask yes, Jacob muna. Si Jacob muna. Uh, Jacob. Yes po, uh, nung bata po ako, nung mga grade 1, nag-varsity uh, po sa basketball. Uh, basketball. Pero nag-stop din po ako. Mm. Then lumipat po ako ng swimming. Uh, so then talaga... noong 2014, nag-start na po akong mag-handball sa PE po nung, nung grade 8 po ako. Then, nagtuloy-tuloy na po yun. So, nagsimula ito sa PE? Nagsimula ka sa handball sa PE? Yes po. Bob, good. So, do you think ito magandang entry to para sa mga handball players na maturuan ng handball sa sa skwelahan? Yes po. I think it's a good program po na magkaroon po ng handball sa schools. 
Should we convert basketball players? Pwede, mag, ano ba yan? Magaling ba? Pwede bang uh, makuha yung mga... Ang dami-dami natin basketball player, hindi naman pwede lahat yan maging national team. Should we convert them into handball players, Jacob, sa tingin mo? Um, well, if gugustuhin po nila ang sport, kung may in love din po sila sa sport, they can. Kasi halos may um, similar characteristics po sa movement ng basketball and handball. Oh. So, may onting adjustments lang po. Alright. Um, well, uh, sana nga dumami pa ang mga naglalaro. Um, Coach, before I let you go, you are uh, going to be playing in the Southeast Asian Games uh, next year. Uh, ulit, meron bang handball o walang handball sa ano ngayon? Sa, sa Cambodia? Wala daw kung handball. Ah, wala. Yan. Sayang, no? Oh. Oh, ayaw ka nilang bigyan ng medal. Ayaw ka nilang bigyan ng medal. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, ano ang plans ng Philippine handball? Anong susunod yung torneo? And uh, uh, what are you looking forward to in the next few years? Uh, meron uh, Southeast Asian Handball uh, Championships uh, sa November sa Thailand. Okay. Yan. We're hoping to just um, grow the sport locally but continue with the progress of the team that the team has made sa Asian level. So right, right. Um, next year, if there's an Asian championship, so we hope you can join, this, uh, join that. Um, all of our international competitions previously were supported by the PSC. Of so course. I hope this continues oh, bin, oh, <laughs> with you there, sir. Thank you for... Of course, uh, of course. I, I would like to say well, congratulations Thank you. on your appointment and we're looking forward to, uh, to a good uh, for sports with if, you there. If there are kids that gustong to pumasok sa handball, ano ang grassroots ninyo? How do they get into the sport? Our program is called the Handball at Schools Program. So Jacob is a product of that program. We um, we encourage uh, we we conduct courses and lectures and we encourage the schools to uh, to put 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 it in their PE program or in their club program. So okay. that's how we started. Uh, um, it's a it's a really good program, but we hope we can uh, uh, we can start it again because they're gonna halt yung yung classes. Yes. Naging, based, naging online lahat. So. Well, I hope with the return of the face-to-face, -face, we can again start with that handball at school program. Well, uh, we certainly hope uh, uh, that ang handball ay lalo pang laruin ang ating mga kabataan and of course, patuloy ang success ng uh, Philippine handball uh, under the leadership, of course, of Mr. Steve Ontiveros and uh, Dr. Jay Adalem and of course, Coach Jana, Jacob, and the rest of the team. Good luck sa inyo. Uh, and uh, hopefully... Uh, Uh, I get to see more of handball na nilalaro dito sa ating bansa. Thank you again for joining us this morning, Coach uh, and uh, Jacob. Thank you. I'll see you again. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you po. Mga kaibigan, ang ating Philippine handball feature, uh, kasama po natin, of course, si Coach Jana Frankelli and si, uh, si Jacob Bakay, ang ating pong membro ng uh, Philippine national team. All right, before we take a break, isa muna pong uh, pagbabalik tanaw this week in sports history. Power and play with Com Noli Iyala. September 11, 1999 o 23 years ago, nakuha ni Serena Williams ang pinakauna niyang Grand Slam title. Sa murang edad na 17, tinalo ni Williams si Martina Hingis. Uy, kailangan na tatandaan ko to ha. The straight sets para sa US Open title. Noong panahon na yon, siya ang unang black woman na nanalo ng major tennis championship mula 1958. Simula niyan, wala nang nakapigil sa astronomical rise ng itinuturing na greatest of all time sa tennis. Sa kabuuan ay may 23 Grand Slam titles si Williams na tied para sa all-time count. Ngayon, buwan lang ay opisyal ng Nagretiro si Williams sa professional tennis matapos matalo sa third round ng US Open. 17-year-old Serena Williams wins her first of 23 Grand Slams this week in sports history. Unbelievable. Sana eh, ang ating ang, ang ating pong pinagmamalaking si Alex Ayala ay sumabay ha, sumunod sa yapak ng the great Serena Williams. All right, when we come back Itatampok natin tungkol sa ika nga, eh, higante ng laro. Ito, literal. Greg Slaughter will be 
in the house to talk about his plans and his future. Dito po sa Power and Play, hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Loom, Cherry Tigo, Chooks to Go, at ng True Religion. Ang oras po natin, Kuya Elmer Ngo, 9.15 ng umaga. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Pita! Pita King! A for best friend. Ang Max. I for ingatan. Ang kamay. D for distansya. Sa katabi. Sa Radyo 5 92.3 News FM Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala Nagbabalik po ang Power and Play uh, Nga pala, uh, gusto ko rin pong uh, magpasalamat sa lahat po ng uh, staff ng PSC na talaga pong uh, pinadali ang ating pagpasok sa opisina Thank you so much for the warm welcome once again. All right, at this point, mga kaibigan, itatampok na natin ang isa sa mga paborito ninyo uh, na basketball player. At ngayon, pag-usapan natin ang kanyang mga plano dito po sa In The Spotlight. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. He is a four-time PBA champion, a former best player of the conference back in 2017. And of course, spent seven years with Hinebra San Miguel. And today, uh, he is now on his way, uh, according to reports, to Japan to join the B-League. And we have with us, to put the spotlight on him, no other than Greg Zilla, Greg Slaughter. Good morning, Greg. Hey, good morning, Calm. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You look terrific. Uh, you haven't aged since I first saw you back in 2008. Uh, how are you doing, Greg? How's everything with you? Um, I'm doing very well. You know, I'm just getting ready to head out to Japan. Um, but I also want to say uh, congratulations to you on your appointment for the Philippine Sports Chair. Thank you so much, Greg. You know, I appreciate that. And uh I wish I, I was there earlier so I, you know, I could have really um, kept on push, pushing you into the national team. But, you know, l- let me ask you about that. You mentioned about going to Japan. Uh, you, you mentioned that uh, this, uh, and, of course, everybody was expecting that uh, you could still, they could still see you in the PBA. So what is the latest in your trip? Uh, are you still joining uh, Fukuoka? Is this the, is uh, it? Yes, yes, I am. Um, um, be joining as an Asian import, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, as a Filipino, technically I'm qualified as a OFW. So I'm currently <laughs> in the process of getting all my OFW papers done, uh-huh. uh, working with the POEA, uh-huh. and um, once I get that all finished, I'll be heading over there. All right, and um, you know, is this something that um, uh, you know the team is also preparing you preparing for in other words have you met the your teammates your your coaches at least on online have you have you talked to them at all yeah uh just online uh my coach has reached out to me he's uh actually a spanish coach he's from spain he's coached the spanish national team uh i think at the beginning of the 2000s and um you know he's we've been in communication he's sent me the plays just to uh prepare me for when i arrive how excited are you to be joining your new team, Greg? Oh, uh, you know, I, I, I try not to get too worked up about it because, uh, you know, I just have to finish my processes now before I can head out over there. 
but uh, I'm, I'm very excited. You know, it's a wonderful opportunity, not just for me, but my family. Uh, my family will be coming with me. And, um, you know, it, it's looking like a really competitive season. And, uh, you know, we have a goal in mind. And uh, that's trying to move the team up into the first division. You know, you, you uh, ended your PBA stint, at least uh, momentarily, with the Northport Batang Pier, and you had terrific averages. You, had, you were averaging almost 18 points a game, almost 11 rebounds, and almost three blocks a game back in 2021. And your contract expired, you became a restricted free agent, and you decided, of course, uh, you know, to take your bag to Japan. You're taking your bags to Japan. How, why was the decision to go over to Japan and not work out uh, something with Northport or at least a trade and stay in the PBA? What was the, what was the motivation and the reason behind this decision, Greg? Uh, you know, honestly speaking, Calm, uh, it really felt like they closed the door on me. You know, uh, it wasn't something that I was uh, really trying to do, leave my home, the Philippines. Um, I was, at the time, just expecting my uh, first baby to be coming. She was due in February 2nd, and uh, my contract expired at the end of January. So honestly, at that time, I was kind of looking for stability. But, um, you know, I was trying to be very open and communicative with them. But uh, I was always kind of met with silence. And honestly, I wasn't really sure who was calling the shots for Northport. Mm. Mm -hmm. And when you say that you felt like the door was shut on you, does this mean that, um, you know, uh, there was never really a closure between you and Northport? Yeah, I, I can't really say, you know. Um, when I first came to the team, uh, you know, which I was kind of surprised at because um, when I originally re-signed, I re-signed with Hanebra. I've even uh, met with Coach Tim. He was describing that I would have a role, kind of like a Nikola Jokic type on there. So I was met with the trade. And, um, you know, when I when I came to Northport, um, you know, I was professional about it. I wanted to bring my best. Um, I think I showed that in the bubble. And uh, I really wanted to bring this team over the hump. I know they had a reputation of not being a winner. But, uh, you know, I wanted to change that. But um, during my time there, I kind of discovered some things that um, winning might not have been the priority of the team. Oh, well, very, very interesting. But you were very productive in Northport. And obviously, you know, you still have a lot to give. Um, do you feel that this is a wasted opportunity to continue and, as you said, stay here and, you know, start a very stable uh, you know, end of your career, so to speak, and just finish your career. Was that really the plan, to finish your career here in the, in the Philippines? Uh, yeah, you know, originally it was. Uh, you know, I've really enjoyed my career in the PBA, but uh, I'm just very thankful for this opportunity in Japan. It uh, turned out to be actually really good. You know, I have a really good situation there. Um, the league is competitive, and it's been a really good deal for me, you know, uh, mm -hmm. comparing to the PBA, it's, it's been better than anything I've gotten. Well, w w let's talk about Japan. What are, what are you most looking forward to uh, in, in going to Japan and playing in the B-League? <clears throat> um, just, uh, you know, a change of scenery. I know uh, our team is uh, wanting to really compete. So uh, I'm excited. You know, we have some really good uh, imports there. Uh, actually, we have you know, there's uh, the best shooter from the top division. He had the uh, most makes on threes, and he shoots like a really good percentage. He's on the team. We got uh, Aaron Gordon's brother on there. Wow. We have, um, you know, we have a guy, Marvell. He's a really good uh, penetrator. And uh, we actually have a guy who was uh, just on their national team these last FIBA windows. Mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to get over there, learn some things, see how things are, and uh, just go out there and compete and play basketball. Uh, are you concerned about language? Are you concerned about uh, the culture? Are you more excited than concerned? Uh, well, you know, I, I think I'll learn. Um, <laughs> you know, I, was able, I was able to adapt. Uh, you know, moving to a new country is, you know, honestly, it won't be my first time. So, um, 
Maybe uh, we'll see with my daughter, too. She's just a baby, so maybe she'll be able to pick up some Japanese as well while she's over there. I hope you like Japanese food, Greg. Oh, I love it. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> well, you, you'll have a, uh, you know, a lot, and you, you get your fill, uh, obviously, in Japan. Where does Fukuoka, where is Fukuoka based? I mean, um, uh, it's, it's kind of on the southern tip. I've read about it. They say it's kind of like the gateway to Japan, mm, uh, the mm, way it's located. Mm. I think it's, uh, it's got the closest uh, point to the mainland of Asia from mm, Japan. Mm, so um, mm, mm. it's a pretty big port city. Um, you know, I've heard really good things about it. Uh, I'm really excited to get over there and check it out myself. How has your family reacted to the decision to move over, especially your wife? Uh, I, I know you're, you know, you uh, uh, just, I mean, not just got married, but you know, you, you, you know, you're building a, a new life together. Uh, how, how is this uh, going to change your plans when you move over to Japan? Um, it, you know, it's, it's very great because things were really uncertain with the PBA. Um, you know, I was, I was trying to give my best there. But, um, you know, now that this opportunity in Japan's here, which is, uh, you know, they, they've given me a two-year deal. So um, two years of stability, um, you know, it's uh, just a really great opportunity for us that we're all looking forward to. All right. Well, you know, again, uh, many people ask, uh, you, you said it's a two-year deal. And, of course, many people are always saying he's going there, uh, you know, because of the, of the package that has been given, you know, and, and it's, it's uh, always geared towards that what do you say to that greg uh, uh first of all you said it's a more a better deal it's a it's more security for your family what do you say to uh the, the critics who say you know he should have just stayed here and play instead he's going there just for the you know for the package that he's been given um well you know i i can't really say it was my decision um i really tried to make it work out with the pba um you know, I had no problem playing on Northport. I gave them maybe the best I've been playing. Uh, you know, I've been working out with a coach who used to be a former NBA scout for 16 years. And um, at this point in my career, I feel like I've taken my game to a level I've never been on, just being able to work out with this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, his name's Gary Boyson. So, um, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm at the top of my game right now. Um, I gave my best to the PBA. Um, I've always been trying to give it, um, but you know, life goes on, and I gotta, you know, I gotta put uh, some food on the table for my family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, there, so. th there is a possibility, Greg, that uh, because of your move and your decision, you could be covered by a PBA rule of having to sit out maybe for uh, a number of years, um, and. We may not see you in the PBA if that if it takes that long. Is that even something that you're thinking about, or you know that's no longer a factor uh, in, in your next moves moving forward? Uh, you know, that's it's. I don't know what I can do. You know, it's. Uh, I don't make the rules. I just uh, go out there and play. So uh, I'm I'm kind of unsure why that rule's there. It's a little strange to me why. They would discourage players seeking to get better mm -hmm. um, and returning to the PBA. But um, like I said, you know, I don't, I don't make the rules. And, uh, you know, at this point, I really have to look out for my family. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, you know, maybe, but, uh, you know, I, I feel like I still have a lot left in the tank. So hopefully maybe someday down the road, you know, you know I'm not ruling out a return to the PBA. Excellent. Uh, have you reached out to the other players who are already in Japan and, uh, you know, checked out their experiences there? You know, you've got a lot of good friends there uh, who are now playing, of course. Uh, Kiefer is there, uh, and of course his brother, 30. You're all from Ateneo, and, you know, you guys, yes. you have guys like Dwight Ramos there. Uh, you have Bobby Ray Parks, who I know you're also very familiar with. Have you reached out to any of them? Yeah, you know, uh, I've, I've talked to a few of them, asked them uh, about how some of the processes were, um, you know, because it's, uh, it's actually like uh, not as simple as I thought it'd be. So um, they've, uh, they've kind of keyed me in on how to get my OFW things done, what mm -hmm. I need to get on mm -hmm. to get over there. Um, we'll all be in different cities, but yeah. Um, yeah. 
just uh, based on the experiences, it uh, sounds like, you know, they've really been enjoying themselves and I'm looking forward to enjoying myself as well. Excellent. Well, you know, let me jump to another topic. Uh, you are, you were a, an original member of the GILAS program and uh, I'm very proud to have... Um, brought you into that program and i remember those thanks, days thanks and, to you <laughs> uh, and i remember those days when you, you know your your father asked me that you you know to take care of you and obviously uh, you've made a career out of that and uh, you have been one of the best players uh, the philippines has ever seen uh, greg how do you compare the program back then during your time with the current program that you see in gilas now um you know it's uh it was it was really really fun in the original. Um, I guess it hasn't been done like that before. We uh, really had the commitment of the players, you know, um, and I I think that's still a problem today, is um, having the commitment of players. Mm -hmm. um, I remember on the original, you know, we were locked in for three years. Uh, we were locked in for the goal of qualifying, and we were really locked in for development. Um, you know, I, I really appreciated all of that. Um, I really felt like I was taken care of on the national team. Um, today, you know, I've uh, my experiences with the national team um, have been kind of inconsistent. You know, I've been uh, volunteering myself uh, earlier this year. Um, and actually, they said that I would not be included on the national team wow. when I reached, as soon as uh, Coach Chot replaced Coach Tab, uh, I messaged Coach Chot. Uh, I was telling him about my availability for the FIBA Asia Cup. Uh, this was in March. Mm. But, um, you know, he told me that they decided not to go with me. And, um, you know, I was, I was a little disappointed, but I respected his decision. And um, at that time, I had... Uh, I already had to make some plans for July with my family. Uh, I got my daughter's baptism done. But um, at the last minute, you know, they kind of asked me to join, mm. um, you know, about like one week before the tournament. Mm. And at that time, it was already too late for me. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm, I'm still willing and able to uh, volunteer myself for the national team. It's something I been very uh, public about that I want to help with the World Cup. Uh, I've been saying this since 2020. So um, hopefully I'll be able to be included on the national team again, um, you know, because like you said, being one of the original GILAS members since 2008, you know, there's nothing more I want to do than uh, give back to everything, give back to everyone and the opportunities that I've been given thanks to that. Is that part of the provisions in your contract that will allow you to play for Gilas in the national team. Uh, oh, yeah, that's 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 no problem. You know, um, they are they will they will let uh, their players go play. You know, that's that's not something they they won't hold stop players from uh, playing for their national teams because these leagues actually take a break as well during mm -hmm. this time because they have players. Um, like I was saying, you know, I even have a teammate who just played on this last window for the Japanese national team. So you know, their league will take a break as well and. Um, you know, they, they'll let the players be available. Uh, by leaving the PBA and now uh, joining the B League, um, what will be the, you know, I guess the thing that you'll miss most? Not only in the Philippines, but most especially in the PBA. Uh, just, you know, the fans, you know. Uh, you know, the love here is so unique uh, for basketball. And um, ever since my first playing days in Cebu, um, just playing all over the country, everywhere I've gone playing here. Uh, just, you know, the people's appreciation for the sport, the, uh, the love for the game. You know, that, that, that just adds a different dynamic to, uh, you know, I, I love playing, but just playing for the people that love it so much. You know, that, uh, that really elevates it to a special level. I don't think you can find anywhere else in the world. Well, you know, a lot of people will be missing you, of course, especially the Hinebra fans, uh, you know, who were always uh, supporting you and were, were uh, of course, very excited to have, have had you in the team. Uh, but, of course, now you are moving forward with your career. I want to ask you, though, about one thing, and uh, uh, this is about 
your rivalry with uh, Junmar Fajardo. You and Junmar were the centerpiece of the program of Philippine basketball. I mean, let's put it that way. Uh, you were rivals back in, in, uh, in college in Cebu. Uh, you even shared an MVP award in Sisafi, I understand, back in 2009. Uh, you were both co-MVPs. And, of course, in the PBA, uh, you were always the, uh, the matchup that people would um, you know, watch out for. Now, June Mar seems to be continuing his career. He's on his way to perhaps another MVP. Uh, do you feel a bit of regret on how things turned around, turns, things turned in your career in the PBA vis-a-vis uh, -vis that of June Mar? Is there any kind of feeling like that, Greg? Absolutely not. Um, you know, I've uh, always stayed true to myself. Uh, my development as an individual player, I'm very happy with. And uh, I'm happy with my situation now going to Japan. Um, you know, I have I can always just at the end of my career know that I always did the right thing and stayed true to myself and um, just really enjoyed playing basketball. You know, at the end of the day, I've, uh, you know, if I were to stop right now, I could say that I was proud of the career I had. But... You know, personally, I know I still have many more years ahead of me, and uh, I'm not even close to being done at this point. Excellent. Well, at thir you're 34, Greg, right? You're, you're around th 34. You are starting a new chapter in your career. Um, what motivates you at this point in your career? Um, well, you know, I still love playing. It's uh, really fun, and, um, you know, Working with my uh, coach, Gary Boyson, has mm -hmm. uh, really been a real fun experience expanding my game. Um, you know, I've uh, kind of been limited in the PBA. They kind of discouraged me from becoming a player that I knew I could be. You know, they discouraged my shooting. They wanted me to play a smaller role that I thought that I could be more than capable of. But um, working with uh, my skills coach, Gary mm -hmm. Boyson, was mm -hmm. really brought out a lot of aspects in my game that have kind of just been uh, needing development. So, I mean, that's uh, that's just really fun. It's still really fun. Uh, I feel, you know, young because I'm still developing things. Um, yeah. My game's elevating, yeah. growing new aspects in my game, and um, it's just really fun. And yeah. on top of that, you know, I've uh, welcomed my little baby daughter in, right. and, uh, you know, yeah. I want to still keep continuing playing and uh, show her what her daddy does. Yeah. Well, does this, does this mean, Greg, that we will be seeing you in the B League shooting threes and uh, you know expanding your your range and doing a lot more than what we've seen in the PBA? Absolutely. You know, I have wow. a coach that uh, you know he he knows what I'm capable of and he's okay with me playing multiple positions. Um, you know, it's. Uh, it's it's a it's a game of basketball, you know, and uh, we're all basketball players. We shouldn't just be limited to one role. So, mm -hmm. you no, know, I think you'll be definitely seeing a lot of things you haven't seen for me in the PBA and the B League. Well, you know, as I mentioned uh, a while ago, you were one of the guys that have done so much for Philippine basketball, and um, you have accomplished a lot in the PBA uh, with the national team, and obviously. Um, many people will remember you for all of those things. But when you talk about your career, uh, what is your ideal image of how your basc basketball career will end? Um, do you have a picture of that in your mind? Uh, is it still in the PBA? Is it outside of the game? Is it outside of the PBA? How do you see your, your career being finally uh, memorialized in the annals of basketball in the Philippines? Well, you know, I was here in the Philippines before basketball, so I'll still be here after basketball. Um, if I ended my career in the Philippines, I'd, I, I would be happy with that because, you know, this is my home. This is where my daughter was born. This is where I met my wife. Um, you know, I'll, I'll always be here. I've always... Uh, you know, I've been to Cebu long before I even realized that basketball would be an opportunity here in the Philippines. And, you know, even after I'm done playing, I'll still be here in the Philippines. 
So hopefully, you know, I would love to still continue with the national team. Um, I'd love to uh, just give back to Philippine basketball because it's been so good to me. Well, Greg, we wish you all the best uh, in your trip to uh, to Fukuoka, to, uh, and of course your stint in the B League. Uh, we will be watching your game, of course, and looking out for those threes and uh, maybe uh, slashing to the to the paint. But certainly, but more than that, I think you'll stamp your class in the B League because you are a true gentleman on and off the court. Uh, Greg, I, I've always been a big supporter, and I will continue to be. And I wish you all the best. Thank you, Calm. I really appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Mga kaibigan, okay, walang, iba, walang iba po kung hindi si Greg Slaughter, ang ating pong uh, seven-foot giant of, uh, of the game. Of course, he's now packing his bags and uh, hoping to play dyan po sa Fukuoka sa Japan very, very soon. At uh, ating pong aabangan yan. But again, as he mentioned, eh, andun pa rin po yung kanyang pagnanasa. He still wants to move end his career in the PBA. Very revealing words from Greg about, you know, his relationship, of course, with his uh, past team, feeling that there was no one uh, really there to take care of him and to do a closure at the very least. At uh, nakakalungkot po yan, ha? Dahil uh, kahit pa paano, eh, may naiambag si Greg sa kanyang mga kuponan. Uh, mayroon siya naitulong. He was able to help them win championships. Uh, it's just unfortunate that it had to end this way. Hopefully, it will not. Sana nga makabalik pa siya. But again, he has also opened his, his heart and his time for Gilas. And hopefully, that knock on the door will, uh, will be answered. Dahil madalas tayo naghahanap ng player eh. Bakit naman hindi natin bigyan? Lalong-lalo na yung mga kaya pang maglaro. Subukan man lang, di ba? Hindi naman masama kung siya ay uh, bibigyan ng pagkakataon. Alright, mga kapatid. Uh, we will take a Quick break. Sa amin pong babalik, uh, makakasama po natin ang, uh, well, acting coach ba? O uh, magiging full na, interim ba? O permanent na coach ng NLEX, si Coach Adonis Tierra. Mga ngamusta lang po tayo ah, sa atin pong pagbabalik. Ito po ang power and play. Hatid sa inyo ng Cherry Loom, Cherry Tigo, Chooks to Go at ng True Religion. Kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taon pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Pumanda na sa mas pinatinding tapatan ng lakas ng tatlo. Tuloy ang laban sa PBA 3x3 Season 2. Simula September 10 sa One Sports at PBA Rush. Bukang kailangan ko na naman palitan ng bubong ko, pare. Mag-iisang taong pa lang yan. May tulo na kagad. Ay, bossing! Baka naman kasi hindi matiba yung ginamit nyo. Dapat ang gamitin mo ay Cherry Loom. Ang yerong aluminum. Basta yero, Cherry Loom. Tiba'y protektado sa pangmatagalang yero. Power and Play, team na sa Radyo 5, 92.3 News FM. Power and Play with Com Noli Iyala. Nagbabalik po tayo sa Power and Play. Ha? Sa totoo lang po mga kapatid, ha? ito ha, medyo babanggitin ko na ito. Umuupo sa atin ngayong araw pong ito si Simon Enciso at saka si Robbie Herndon mula sa San Miguel Beer. Uh, hindi ko po alam kung ano nangyari at hindi na naman sila nagising o, Ganyan din po nangyari dati kay Jamie Malonso eh, Doon po sa Northport Puro po yan ha, mga, mga player na nag-confirm sa atin po dito Kaya pagpapasyensya nyo na po At mabuti tayo uh, nabigyan ng pagkakataon ng ibang mga tao no? Pero again, hindi ko po alam kung, kung meron pong nangyayaring uh, <laughs> kababalaghan ha? Lalong lalo na sa mga nagpapatakbo ng mga kuponan Pero sana po ay eh, bigyan ninyo ng pagkakataon dahil uh, gusto naman nilang magpakita ng suporta ha, sa atin sa ating palatuntunan. Meron po tayong uh, pagbasa lamang do sa ating mga nagpadala ng kanilang komentaryo. 
Doon po sa ating pinupulsohan ng bayan, ito po yung uh, ano bang roster change ang gusto niyo makita? Ha? Sa mga kuponan ng PBA, sa inyong mga paboritong kuponan, sa pagpasok po ng Commissioner's Cup. Ang Commissioner's Cup may may import ha? at makakasama rin po dyan yung uh, Bay Area Dragons ha? mula sa EASL. Sila po ay maglalaro sa Commissioner's Cup. So it, will, should, be, it should be a very exciting uh, conference. Uh, ito pong simula ng September. Para kay Chini Cabaltera, sabi niya, para sa akin, pinakadapat maayos talaga dyan si Uh, yung uh, pagiging balanse ng mga players dahil sa sobrang daming uh, import ng ibang team na wawala ng chance na uh, import na palang tingin nila doon na uh, uh, humihina yung iba. Mula kay Rosa Moore, sabi niya, I'm an SB, SMB fan, I want to change. Is the PBA matching to be fair? Okay, sabi niya. Puro mukhang uh, uh, pagkakapantay ang gusto nilang mangyari. Ha? Zaldi Sanjonia, Sahonia, good morning, Com. Sana makakuha ng mga free agents yung mga mahihinang team. Ah, free agents, yung mga may hinang team like Terra Firma, Blackwater, Phoenix Para naman at least makasabay sa mga elite teams Mula kay Agustin Cabaltera uh, Gusto ko sana magkaroon muna na sila ng exhibition match Para mas kahiligan ng mga Pilipino yung uh, PBA ah, Kung sa NBA may Team West at East friendly match Alam ko sabi ni Commissioner Willie uh, Ito yata third conference, magkakaroon na ng uh, All-Star So abangan po natin yan ah. uh, Mula kay uh, Gestoni Delicano, sana maging transparent yung salary ng mga player like sa NBA, uh, etc. Sabi naman ni Lance Saklaw, paano kung na-activate na si Terrence Romeo sa SMB? Chak na mawawala ng playing time isang guard sa SMB. Ba? Eh, balita, baka nga maglaro na itong si uh, Terrence Romeo. No? Malapit na daw yata. Uh, mula kay Ori Babia, not on a particular team, rather on the PBA as a whole. Sana maging balanse. Ang uh, mga team kung saan ang mga small market independent teams ay may chance manalo ng kampyonato. Ayan ha, puro mga league parity ang hinihingi ng ating mga kababayan. Mula kay Sian Marco, bago magsimula yung next game, sana uh, gusto sana makita na maglaro lahat ng best players ng PBA para maingganyo ang mga PBA fans. So, naglalaro naman po lahat ng mga magagaling eh. Si John Paul Santos. Wala eh, nasa SMB lahat ng player na magagaling. Eh, yung bench player po ni pwedeng starting five sa ibang team. Sana bawasan nila iti-trade sa farm team. Huwag naman, no? Mula naman kay Paul Ryan Castillo. Siyempre po, Barangay Hinebra dahil makapaglaro na si Jeremy Gray. Si Jeremiah Gray with Justin Brownlee. Malakas yan. Ha? Si Art Castro, sabi niya, I hope mag-materialize yung Malonso trade. Rumors to Hinebra para ma mas magandang future niya ng, uh, at ng team. Ako, lalo pang lalakas ang Ginebra. Uh, just Tony Delicano, sana makapasok na ang Chooks to go sa PBA para meron namang independent team. Hmm. Uh, mula kay uh, Ann Nugid, laban ni Labador versus Gako. <laughs> ano yun? Uh, mula kay Dagan, uh, kung may kakayahan na kang baguhin ang sistema ng PBA, sir, mas makakabuti, balik ang sigla ng liga at mas interesting sa mga manonood. Wala po akong kapangyarihan doon. <laughs> Uh, mula kay Edgar uh, uh, Blas I would say I want to see James Shop During his jersey uh, Donning his jersey Especially at this point of his twilight Of his career sa Pure Foods franchise Not only that I wish Pinoy Sakuragi Mark Pingres And Super Sub PJ Simon At the coaching staff of Magnolia Aba? Mula naman kay Joshua Visca Kailangan ng Hinebra ng backup big man Kagaya ni uh, para kila Japet at Sistan Uh, yun lang naman, uh, lalaro rin naman si Jeremiah Gray Jeffrey Safe, sabi niya, Hinebra fan here Maganda ang pagbabalik ni Coach Yang sa Rain or Shine Yes, tama po yan ha? Maganda roster niya, mix ng young blood at veteran But if you want to get his former ROS players like Kinyahan, Jeff Chan, Paul Lee A reunion with ROS, maganda makita uli Tama po yan ha? Talagang uh, again, ha? congratulations nga pala kay Coach Yang sa pagbabalik niya sa Rain or Shine nung isang araw lang eh, nakausap natin last week si Coach Yeng at sabi niya open siya by the, uh, a day after or two days later eh, nando na may announcement na na siya ay nasa Rain or Shine of course si Coach Yeng kagaya ni Greg Slaughter marami pang ibubuga yan eh. kaya maraming pahihirapan ang Rain or Shine para kay Jamie Castillo para sa akin tatlong SMC teams Parang Hinebra at SMB naging priority. Paano, paano Magnolia, ganong tatlong MVP teams yan, 
yung TNT at Meralco priority pero hindi NLEX. Hmm. Edgar uh, Blas, ah, hindi, nabasa na natin yan. Of course, yan, marami pa pong nagpadala sa atin ng kanilang mga komentaryo, pati po sa, sa Twitter. Uh, sabi ni, Ed, uh, ni uh, 19 Krug Kid, Barangay Inebra should add one or two more shooters for the team yung kasi ang kulang sa kanila kaya minsan kinakapo sila uh, sa dulo ng laro. Well, ang dami pa pong uh, ika nga, mga pag-uusapan tayo tungkol dyan sa mga pagbabago ng PBA as we start the Commissioner's Cup. And talking about the Commissioner's Cup at mga pagbabago, well, kasama po natin ngayon ng umaga ang uh, taong namumuno muna sa NLEX. Ha? Siya po ay uh, kasamang dating assistant coach at ngayon ay interim yata, interim coach ng LNEX Road Warriors. Kasama po natin via phone patch, walang iba kung hindi si coach, ang veteranong coach ha? at kaibigan natin, Coach Adonis Tierra. Uy, live pala. Coach uh, Adonis, magandang umaga. Hi, good morning, Commissioner. Ah, uh, Chairman pala. Chairman, <laughs> Chairman Noli, sorry. Maraming salamat, Coach Adonis. Unang-una, salamat sa... Oras na binigay mo, at least ikaw ma madaling hatakin. Eh, eh, alam ko galing ka sa practice, kaya ako yung nagpapasalamat sa'yo. Very quick lang, Coach Adonis. Kamusta ang status ng NLEX? Kamusta po ang, uh, ang team ninyo? Uh, right now, uh, what uh, coaching started before, uh, tinutuloy ko lang. Tuloy-tuloy uh, lang yung ginagawa namin para hindi mawala sa sa focus yung mga bata at the same time yung concept ni coach nandito pa rin naman uh -huh. mayroon lang konting mga adjustment okay ang, 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 ang tinutukoy mo si coach Yeng yung concept niya yeah Ama, napakahirap kasi kung bigla akong papalitan at nag-usap naman kami ng mga fellow coaches ko na stay lang muna namin yung iba uh -huh. yung iba pagkakaroon kami ng uh, meeting with my fellow coaches na magkaroon ng adjustment na Alright. Konti lang marami. Ah, ang tanong kasi ng marami, Coach Adonis, is uh, ano ba ang uh, final decision? Uh, marami, siyempre, nag, uh, nagtatanong kung meron na bang nahirang na permanent coach. Uh, ang balibalita, eh, it, they will, ang management daw ng NLEX will take its time. Pero ano ba ang uh, naririnig mo? And of course, ikaw ba ang magiging head coach, Coach Adonis? Uh, honestly, wala pa akong, marami akong nababasa sa social media. At the same time, nasa management siya, eh, nasa higher level yan. Being an interim, eh, tinitignan ko muna kung, kung ano yung sitwasyon sa taas. Kasi wait and see muna ako eh, as an mm -hmm. interim coach. Uh, thankful lang ako sa management dahil syempre yung giving opportunity as yung giving, giving their trust to me para mag-organize, mag-lead at uh, ituloy lang yung, yung naumpisaan. Almost before coach was lead, uh, umalis, uh, ano siya eh, almost one month na kami nagpa-practice din eh. Ah, okay, okay. So, coach, hindi ka naman uh, iba sa head coaching at ikaw ay veteranong-veterano, marami ka na rin nahawakang uh, teams, uh, pero ikaw ba ay nagulat pa rin na... Uh, Uh, so all of a sudden, eh, na nawala si Coach Yeng at ikaw ngayon ang umahawak. Uh, although sabi mo, matagal na kayo nagpa-practice. Handa ka ba, Coach, uh, dito sa bagong hamon? Medyo, siyempre, unexpected yung scenario. Medyo, siyempre, may konting adjustment, may konting pagbabago. Uh, yun lang, I accept the challenge and siyempre, ah, uh, I try, I try to lead the expectation ng management. Pero alam mo naman, ang basketball is a team game naman yan. Uh, importante yung tulong ng, ng mga coaches ko, fellow coaches, at the same time yung mga players. Mm -hmm. Siguro, ang trabaho ko lang dito is uh, to make the better team. Yung, kasi yung sabi nga ni coach, tama naman si coach, na uh, buo na yung team eh. Ando na yung team na uh, talagang solid, solid na yung team. Konting-konti na lang. All right. Uh, 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 Coach Adonis, uh, ano lang, um, med medyo nawala yata yung video ni Coach Adonis, no? Uh, pero narinig, narinig pa naman tayo ni Coach. Coach? Yes. Okay. Uh, Coach, uh, uh, ang, ang tanong yeah. ko lang is, uh, simple-simple lang po, eh, kamusta ho ang moral ng team, lalong-lalo na, na bigla kayong parang, parang bigla silang uh, uh, naulila mula sa kay Coach Yeng. Kamusta ang moral ng uh, buong kuponan right now? 
medyo nung first two days, three days, honestly, medyo mababa talaga. But nung nagpunta yung management last, last Saturday, medyo nabago. Nagkaroon ng liwanag, nagkaroon ng pag-asa. Ngayon, tuloy-tuloy lang kami. Medyo okay na ngayon ng team. Yung first two days, medyo malungkot lang, syempre. Alam mo naman na ah, medyo matagal na rin namin kasama si, si YG. Oo. Eh, in terms of your uh, import, kamusta naman ang import ninyo, uh, Coach Adonis? Okay naman. Uh, so far, so good. Medyo nakaka-adjust na siya. Uh, sa mga, unang-una, medyo nag-adjust sa weather eh. Yung first week niya, medyo nagre-reklamo ng konti. Pero <laughs> ngayon, okay na siya. Okay na. Okay naman. Maganda yung uh, performance niya sa practice. Maganda niya yung support sa team at sa kanyang players niya. Uh, meron bang, uh, ika nga eh, mga, sabi mo kanina, gagamitin pa rin yung sistema ni uh, Coach Yeng. Pero, I'm sure ikaw rin, meron kang sarili mong uh, konting adjustments. Meron ba tayong makikita ng... Uh, Uh, imprint yung style naman ni Coach Adonis Tierra dito sa kanyang uh, bagong kupunan? Hopefully, meron naman. Meron naman mga adjustment and additional. Pero syempre, uh, mahirap para sa akin uh, as an interim coach dahil marami rin akong nababasa na meron mga darating. Ayoko naman ibuhos muna lahat. Baka biglang dumating. Pero kung sakali lang, kung matutuloy ako rito, hanggang this... Uh, First, first day of the conference, tignan ko. At uh, syempre, with the uh, uh, adjustment ng mga fellow coaches, kung ano yung mga suggestion nila, gagawin rin namin additional dun sa concept ni Coach Yeng. Um, in terms of, uh, yung binabanggit mo, Coach, na baka may pumasok dyan, wala namang naibibigay na timetable sa inyo. In other words, wala namang uh, uh, sinasabi na Malapit na. Wala rin naman sinasabing matagal pa. Wala namang binabanggit ang management. Wala lang. Basta nagbilin lang ang management sa akin. Trabaho lang. Uh, as an interim coach, yun lang. Ituloy lang namin yung naumpisan ni Coach Sheng. At the same time na, kung ano yung hmm. ma-add namin, adjustment, ko sa mga play o sa mga gagawin namin with the help of my uh, fellow coaches, yun na lang muna. Kasi okay. mahirap din para sa akin eh. Oh. Uh, waitin si muna ako Pero tuloy-tuloy lang ang trabaho Masaya naman ako sa suporta ng Players na binibigay sa akin At tiwala rin Well coach, alam ko malaking hamon ito para sa iyo Lalong lalo na biglaan But uh, kilala kita uh, Veterano ka sa PBA, veterano ka sa basketball At uh, marami ng pagkakataon Na ikaw ay uh, Nangailangang mag-step in Ika nga next man up uh, Mula pa sa Santa Lucia At kung saan-saan Talagang nandun ka lagi, Coach Adonis, at uh, I am uh, very happy for you. I hope hindi uh, na sila humana pa ng malayo. Andiyan na yung Coach Adonis Tierra. But uh, still, good luck uh, sa pagsisimula ng Commissioner's Cup, lalo-lalo na sa NLEX Road Warriors, uh, Coach Adonis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alam mo naman, uh, I have been before the situation against uh, as a head coach and interim Oh. Parang dito po yata itong situation ito eh. Pero siyempre, I accept the challenge. I accept the challenge. Thank you very much for inviting me here. Thank Sal you. Salamat, Coach. Salamat. Yan po mga kaibigan. And congrats, ha? Na... Salamat, salamat, Coach. Congrats, Herman. Salamat. Yan po mga kaibigan, ang ating uh, kaibigan, ang interim head coach ng uh, Index Road Warriors, si Coach uh, Adonis Tierra. Maraming nga palang salamat kay uh, Coach uh, Jay Serrano, ha? na nag-ayos nitong interview ito na uh, on short notice. Alright, bago po tayo magtapos, babanggitin ko lamang ang mga nanalo ng ating Joyride Tapa promo. Sila Joshua Vincent Visca, Manidel Buenaventura, Chini Cabaltera, Sian Marco, at si Princess Gozum. Congratulations kayo po yung mananalo ng 1,000 e-wallet credits mula sa Joyride Super App sa ating Joyride Tapa promo dito sa Power and Play. And that'll do it for us this morning. Ngayong Sabado po ng umaga, mamaya, NCAA opening. Punta kayo ng Araneta Coliseum. And of course, abangan na natin ang PBA opening very, very soon. Marami po salamat muli sa lahat ng ating naging mga panauhin at sa inyong lahat. At lagi po nating sinasabi tuwing Sabado, bawal ang masungit. At sa lahat po ng ating gawain, ad mayorem de gloriam, all for the greater glory of God. Happy Sports Weekend, mga kapatid! Kami po ang 1PH Teleservisyo para sa Pilipino. Susunod na po 
ang inay ko po. More power, more play! Kapwa ko Pilipino Ipagmalaki ang galing na meron tayo Ilantad ang likas nating talento At magdala ng saya sa mundo Sa harap ng pagsubok ay di susuko Para sa pangarap tayo'y pusigido Pagpapit ang gilas na huwag magpatalo Ipagiwang natin ang Pilipino Mula noon at hanggang ngayon, talento natin ng bida Mula sa simpleng bakuran hanggang entablado natin ipakita May pagsubok man ng Pinoy, pinalalakas ng saya San man tayo sa pulot, sumbe, sumbay, lakay, maligat Sama sa 